it was overwhelming, just overwhelming. I've been on the road 36 years and traveling and singing and night after night after night, but to have the industry here say, we appreciate what you did and what you've done and uh, the way you push the boundaries and, and hear those three singing my song, dear Lord, dear Lord. Uh, but it was, it, it was quite overwhelming. Well, I have a, a new record that just came out. Um, I did it in the Faroe Islands. Uh, it's off the coast of Norway, and it's 18 mountains that just shoot up out of the ocean. And uh, I recorded it over there and mixed it over there and used musicians and everything. I always wanted to make a record in Europe. And uh, so it was recognized tonight and nominated for several things, but it's called Faroe Islands, and I'm very, very, very proud of it. Person that I didn't serve out of fear, but I fell in love. And he began to change me. He just began to change me. And today, I'm the man I always wanted to be. You know, I'm the father I always wanted to be. I'm the husband I've always wanted to be. And he's changed me. So after all of these years and everything else, to hear those guys singing back to me, I was just like. <laughs> um, back in 76, um, it was wide open. I mean, you just, uh, uh, you know, I would go in and I could sing and re write and record any way that I felt, but it's turned into such a mammoth business. And, um, and so we'll find somebody that God has greatly anointed, and then we try to change them, maneuver them, give them the look, give them the sound, and after a while, we've taken away everything that made them so unique. So what I say, be yourself, fight for yourself, stand up and say no. Hang on to that thing that God put in you uh, because they're just, they're just ideas from other people. But God spoke to you. God called you. God anointed you. And fight for yourself. You've got to. You know, you've got to. Uh, because we're all dealing with something. We all have got something in our lives. And we are so quick to, when somebody has problems, you know, we get on the phone immediately. Well, I heard da 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 da, and and instead of, I mean, we're at war. We're in the middle of a fight right now. We're fighting for the souls of men. And when I hear anymore somebody is having problems, I'm the first one there, because I know with me when my world fell apart, Bill Gaither, different ones, different men of God that I believe in and trust in, they they flew to Nashville and said, "Come on, get up," you know, uh, because it was me then, but it might be you tomorrow. But if we hang on to each other, love each other, support each other, and when you hear somebody takes an arrow in the leg, you know, go to them, pull it. We got to keep fighting. We got to keep fighting. So I was encouraging Mike English because he hit hard, you know, but he didn't stop. He didn't quit. And he fought his way back. And I'm so proud of him. I'm just so proud of him. He's one of my kids. I love that boy. That is Michael English. Michael English, who's one of the greatest singer of gospel music has ever had, in my opinion. Of course, there's Jason and Donnie and on and on. And on. But I know him. We've been friends a long, long time, and I've, I've walked through hell with that boy. And he came, I mean, he's fighting now. He's back on his feet, and he's working for Jesus again. <laughs>